JRA representing Celta. He has a big crowd here cheering him on. And here is Kone representing Ibiza. Also has loads of people here. The strongest players are here. Well, we spoke to Zidane earlier today and he just said the words of two more games. Two more individual games of FIFA and I'll get to lift the trophy. He even said backstage, which I, you, you probably expect from him, I don't care about the money. 60,000 euros, yes, it's nice, but I've waited a long time to finish that business from 2019, Aga. Yeah, now he's in the pole position to do that and the way he's been playing, as, as you guys been mentioned, he has been the best player so far. He, he didn't drop a game. He's the only one unbeaten. He's in the grand final. He won in a very convincing way against the second best player so far in the competition. So a lot of the things are really pointing at that Sudan is going to be the champion, but we still have two other players who have something to say about that. Well, here we go. This is your loser bracket grand final. It's Celta against Ibiza. JRA up against Kone. What's going to interest me here, Tony, is how does Puskas slot into this team for JRA? I mean, he's got to be involved in some way, shape or form, but currently, I see him on the pitch. He's got number 11 on the far hand side. Yes. He's maybe, maybe he's playing, a, 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 I don't know, a cam or, or, or CM, maybe, I don't know, but the position of Puskas is a strategically, uh, strategic, oh, wait, wait, wait. Could be an early chance here. He's been there, a couple of ball rolls, times it red. Regardless, still brings out a great save from Jan Oblak. And gets those fans on their feet just five minutes into this one. A player that just dropped down for the winners' bracket final, losing 7 1 against Deportivo Alaves Zidane. It's an electric start here. Dembele tries to play it short, couldn't they able to defend that one well. But the intensity, Aga, is a great start from JRA. Yes, yeah, definitely a semi final worthy or loser bracket final, I should say. The atmosphere, the intensity. And JRA had a decent opportunity there, but I can't help to see that he timed that red. I just think when you're here and you're in top three, I expect him to green everything. I expect him to time everything green. That's why you're here. That's why you're one of the best. And that surprised me a little bit, but okay. Still loads of time to play. Well, the Ibiza fans are really in Ibiza right now. They brought, the, I think they brought the island. They <laughs> brought the island to Madrid. Well, we can, I've been saying to Kone, if he wins, are we going to Ibiza? And he said yes. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you gentlemen are invited along. He's been then ballet building now. He's Celta Vigo. Charge! Goal! Jerry Lyon! The perfect start. He's on his feet, but just says, calm down. Calm down. It's early days. There's a long, long, long road here. If I can make it back to that grand final. What a goal by JRA. What a great goal. He was dancing with them, Belly. He did that before. They went to the corner kick twice, and now he was dancing unstoppable. That's impossible to defend when you are you, you, you are that electric like JRA is right now. And I think JRA is starting to already found some tools in order to open up this very organized defensive 3 5 2. It is on the wings. If you could get those one versus one situations with one of the center backs on the sides, there are some very nice opportunity to get that driven pass in or lock the pass into a tap in. And that's exactly what it did right there. And I really hope you at home can pick up on the noise we've got here in Madrid. It's been relentless <laughs> yes. across these last few days. Yeah, fortunately, in Zaragoza was a lot louder because they brought buses from everywhere, but now here is a more eclectic, every, uh, people from everywhere, but the people from Ibiza. Well, they got, they're even whistling to get him off the ball. Yes, they're booing. They were booing David before, and David was, I'm making mistakes because they're booing me. Not not exactly, but kind of said that, because, I mean, come on, a pocket, a little cam, cam, camaraderie. Camaraderie is right? Brandon, is that right? That's the word. Okay. Well, I'm speaking to Zidane just in the break before this game. What I found interesting, I said, there's a, there's a few fans here from Deportivo Alaves for you. I said, are they your family, are they your friends? He went, my family aren't here. This could be a chance, this could be two! Oh, it will be! JRA! Times the offside trap so well! Does it need an extra touch? Does it need an extra pass? Into the top left corner. And Celta Vigo lead by two goals to nil as it erupts here in Madrid. I love that.
celebration. I love that celebration. Where you at? Where you at, fans? Now the crowd is standing. The Celta de Vigo fans, even we're missing Yago Aspas. We asked him to come here, but he couldn't because have a match yesterday, so he couldn't come. But I'm pretty sure he's watching right now. Yago, gracias. And I mean, it's it's such a well-timed goal for JRA, but on the other hand, you need to be so cautious with, with those upside traps, and especially when you're playing the free 5-2. You can't, you can't take those risks. You are in balance. You don't have to push your team up, and especially not if your opponent is looking towards your goal. Then it's so risky to use the offside trap. And, and let's not be honest. Let's be honest here, Aga. For the game plan of Kone, it's the worst possible start. He's a player that wants to keep possession. He wants to keep it low scoring. Now he is forced into a change. What? I mean, what does he do? Yeah, he, well, sorry. Well, I think that right now he's just making sure that all his tactics and formations are are clear but I don't think he's going to change the formation just yet it will be quite early because you, you could say the first goal well worked goal by Jerry second goal was also nice but he really gave him the opportunity to score by using the offside trap which can be a risk you really need to time it perfectly you have to take care of where your opponent whether your opponent is looking towards your goal because then it's just one pass and you don't want to sit in a 50-50 situation where it's May onside, May offside. No, you don't put you, you don't allow that to happen to come into that scenario where you could be two goals down. Yeah, the, the, the relation risk reward with the offside trap is too high to take it sometimes. If you take it with uh, JRA, you're probably gonna pay it. It comes from Ardina now, Kona needs the best of replies instantly as he finds himself 2-0 down, maybe 3-0 down at this right. Well recovered by Yuri Pichachi, who's been superb in a left back all this weekend. Uh, in a 5-3-2 five, five, could be a really offensive uh, offensive formation if the tactics are right. That's my ultra attack information. With the right tactics, with the right instructions, it's a super dominant formation. But I don't think, as of course, Agus said, He's not going to change it yet, but he's ready to it. I mean, when will that change come? That's the question. He's Ronaldinho now, tries to play the one more pass into the feet. It will fall back to Anthony Martial, who has been the star of the show for Kone throughout his journey here in Madrid. Unfortunately, that time just stopped in his tracks. He's played this perfectly well, hasn't he, Jaro Elinaga? It really looks like he did his homework in that, in that hour he had to prepare. And watching Kone play because he, he plays against the 3-5-2 in a perfect way right now. He's using his two right and left forwards to be very, very dangerous on the counter-attacks. Just try to get in behind. Maybe doing it for a third. He's it into that and twisting, turning. Oh, no! It's scoring! Jerry Lyon is on fire! Freaking magma because he's literally on fire. You can tell by the veins. You cannot tell because he's wearing this jumpsuit on, underneath the t jersey, but he's literally on fire, man. And yeah, that was an amazing goal there, just twisting and turning with Zidane and then just using the lofted pass over to a volley. And I required it. I required those green time finishes, and he pulled it off on a volley with R9. He finally had R9, and he's taking advantage of him. 3-0 and what a, what a game so far from JRI. What a response to the beating he got before. I mean, I always call him JRI line. I know it's with, when he's with Mad Lines. He's probably not even called JRI line anymore. No, but it's not JRI. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, it was JRA Kule. Kule means a fan of Barca, but now JRA just that. The point of the story is there's a line inside of him and it's roaring right now. He's 3 0 up and he's absolutely dominating this game. He could put this game to bed in the first leg, Aga. If he continues like that, he will. Kone needs to change something up. You can see it again here, how he, how he really takes advantage of this, of, of those counter-attacks here, almost again, just gets the corner. But, I mean, instantly when he gets the ball, he knows that when he's playing against a 3-5-2, you only have three defenders back, and he has three strikers. So he's, he, he tries to go get in behind as fast as possible, because, you know, if Kone gets back with his, with his midfield, you have eight players defending, 
and then it's going to be hard to open it up. But when he's not in balance, when he only had the three center backs, there was a lot of space on on the wide side of the center backs, and he's really been good at launching those counters fast. We have to say in the best way. That's a man that just lost seven one to Zidane. It could have been a huge confidence sort of diffuser for him. What a, what a way to come back out to main stage, Tony. And what a 45 minutes he's just played. Yeah, you can tell by the way he expresses, by the physically emotions that he's showing, the physicality, you can tell that he's a, man, a strong man. Not the obvious reasons, but mentally, he works a lot. You can tell by the way he looks, the screen, the way he stays. Uh, when, when he's losing, he, you can tell by the body, like he was a little, you know, a little sad, like, but yeah, but I, I'll overcome. You can, he told that on the interview. And he's strong, he's a strong man, he'll become, and he, he will, I don't know, it'll be fun to watch JRA against Zidane again for, for Koneaga. Even if he can just stop JRA and get a goal, get a goal, get something to take into the second leg. The worst thing he can do now, or JRA will be thinking, I can bet this four or five. It seems like a bit like he, he, got, he got shocked. He, he seems a bit like he's in shock, and the most important thing for him right now is to not lose with more. And, as you say, Brandon, he probably needs to get one goal. That's the fun rule. I always say don't lose with more than two if you're playing a best of two. You cannot allow that on this level. And that's what he needs to try to do. He needs to try to calm the game down a little bit, get an early goal, or just get one goal, just try to keep the score like that or make some more goals, obviously. Russell has to go for Marcelo. One more pass. Cruyff, did he need it? Back to Modric. Surely there's a goal. And who else would it be than his star man? Anthony Martial is not over the corner kick. The corner kick. He kicked it inside. Kone is not over for him. The party is still going. He's the DJ and he stopped the music for a bit. You're bringing all the RB for punter, aren't you, Tony, this weekend? <laughs> I don't. Dude, I mean, sorry, Brandon. Sorry, I guess like my first time doing these, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, we're loving it. We're loving your energy on the commentary uh, booth. What's made way back into this game? Maga, talk to me about that goal. He's been the star man for him this weekend, Anthony Martial. Yeah, mostly we've seen the weaknesses of 3-5-2 so far in this game, but there we saw some of the strength. If you can get the ball into the box and you can time the runs correct, you have so many opportunities and passing opportunities inside the box. He could have shot way before that but decided to go for one or two or even three extra passes before shooting and make the chance even bigger and that's what the 3-5-2 allows you that's what it gives to you when you're playing it the right way perfect response from a man that's found himself 3-0 down in 45 minutes he's had to go the longer way on the loser bracket has Konek after falling down there in winner's bracket round two, he's been in the trenches fighting away, big results he's had on his way through against Cartagena, against Sarah Goffrey. He knocked out Matias Bernardo, that's not been spoken about enough this weekend, Aga. He knocked out one of the strongest and the biggest names in the tournament. Yeah, he's he's been taking taking out some big names here and that's that's the reason why they are here, all of them. They took out big names. They really, they really proved that these three they deserve those three spots here. They deserve to play for the title. That was a, a, sh a bit of shocking news. You know what I expected yesterday for Matisse Bonanno not to be in today's grand finals, to be in today's top six. As they're building up here for a chance, Modric unable to link it in, defended well by Jarre. Yeah, Mati not being here, also not, not being here. Neat, which is the former champion, the actual champion, well, now is the former champion. Um, it was a surprise, but there were too many big names in the Group B, and I mean like like Musketeers, the all Musketeers. But it ended up being, it's gonna be, or maybe not. But if Kone comes back, no. But then you're gonna have a GRA against Zidane again. Classic. It's like El Clasico almost. Building well, Anthony Martial about to go. Croy, it was ambitious from that far out. Chance still could be alive. Danny Alves. Try his best to pump it into the feet of Dutch. And one thing I've noticed today as well, which is a, a class act from a lot of players here in Spain, I think it's just country to country, but all the players that were knocked out yesterday, the 10 names, are all here today. They're yes. all watching, they're all supporting Agra, and that's something you don't always get to see. I think in, in many ways, and I, I would like to say that I've witnessed a lot of FIFA countries. Now I think, for me, the Spanish FIFA community is one of the most respectable ones. I mean... The foul play they showed, the way they support each other, the way they're always hawking after a game. 
I mean sportsmanship on the highest level and it just goes to show once again it's impossible not to like these players <laughs> yeah especially especially if they I mean it's a small community the pro players in the Liga I mean they, they all together for a whole year they see each other they play with each other they train with each other they prepare themselves and it's a great community because not everybody's like friends friends not everybody is but it's a great great relationship between all the players of the Liga well, no, the Liga has been the driving force in terms of virtual leagues in FIFA Esports 38 clubs have the opportunity to compete this year and this is our grand finals here in Madrid that was a bit ambitious from that far out but regardless it's been a much better second 45 minutes I think what he was struggling with Agatha for so long was tactically how do I play this I'm conceding more goals every time I'm changing something I'm conceding again at half time where heavy change maybe back into the original 3-5-2 that he was looking for maybe the answer that he needed yeah I think it wasn't it wasn't about changing his formation it was more the way he played his formation that he changed up in the second half and it worked much better for him when he started to be compact a bit faster when he lost the ball but on the other hand uh, just get the ball back fast again and again we see that he changed his way of approaching the defensive thing so he corrected some small things in, the de in his defensive play so he, he doesn't allow JRA to come in the same situations as JRA got to in the first half but what also happens eventually if you get a 3-0 lead you stop you, you like you stop maybe going for that fourth goal because you know you already have a huge result and that could have played a part as well for JRA not playing as good here in the second half as he did in the first well, let's be honest JRA had Cody on the ropes and he was one punch away from a knockout blow that being four goals to nil but somehow on the 10 count he got out of about eight did Kona and he was able to throw a few jabs back in the form of a goal with Anthony Martial finished from distance defended well last four minutes here there might be one more chance for Ibiza in the last few minutes yeah I mean at least Conan stopped the bleeding the wound was so deep that he could he stopped it and at least he got a goal as I said before more than two goals in the first leg could be elimination for sure because you're gonna have to risk a lot on the next game go straight and straight and your your players are gonna be drained out and it's super hard to overcome a 3-0 at this level but Let's see if it's two goals or just one. Well, we're pretty much done here, aren't we, for leg one? It will be Jere of Celta, the lead by three goals, the one as he claps his entourage that have arrived here in Madrid and have been so noisy this weekend, supporting him on his journey towards this lower bracket final. We have people who really follow this. They're fans of the players, and it also allows the players to show more emotions, I think, when they hear the crowd. and also see how Jerry has been so good to use the crowd to his advantage to just you know play his a game this one is going to be the battle of who can hold their emotions the better of the two it will be rc Celta from right to left in this one and that's such a good start did Jerry was three and a half after just 45 minutes in that last game for conan it is all to do tony it's so crucial that he gets the first goal here yes i mean we're gonna, we're gonna see how they how they you know at the beginning of the game they're gonna know how are you going to play? Are you going to go aggressive? Are you going to go slow like Kone? Kone should go slow. If with time, he will build up a good play. But he's been so direct in the last games. Could be a chance for Marcelo now. Switch a pipe. Finds Cafu. One of the icons of choice. Did ask Kone in the break there. Why not four icons in the team? He just said the honest answer, Agu, that there isn't really a fourth icon that I like. If I can't have R9, I'm not too bothered. I mean, if I can't get to Dan and R9, I'm not bothered about the rest. He said, I prefer Michalessian <laughs> over Zambrotta. And I mean, again, it's a matter of taste and also goes to show that there are a lot of good players in La Liga that you can use on the pitch and you don't necessarily always have to go with the icons, even though they look... They look tasty. <laughs> yeah, especially now with the foot fantasy cards like Camavinga. You, you need to put Camavinga at your team. Those long, long legs, great starts defending, a lot of agility for a center mid. It's the way you should take if you should pick if you want to be here tonight.
Here comes Rich from Dembele now, looking to build his first chance off the game. His foot fantasy game item that is so deadly. He's in it into Dan. Tries his best to feed that one more pass into the ongoing running of Vinicius Jr. Able just to find the extra pass on that occasion. Wow, I mean, the way he controls, I mean, you can tell that this is a different player. And of course, not Dembele. I mean, JRA and Dembele, the combination, one of the best skillers in Spain is JRA. One of the best dri dribblers got the best dribbler in FIFA, which is Dembele Foot Fantasy. You can see magic happening when. There you go. Magic. Dembele driving forward again, causing all sorts of problems for Ruben Vizo at the back. It was. All to do for Yuri Pachurche there, he just about got the ball clear and how it will go for a corner. And it was very nice defending actually from Kone just clearing the ball there. Hold on, again another corner, but it was very nice defensive play there from Kone because other players would have this 10 to just try to. Could be on a play for i Ronaldo there, you saw the idea again to play the corner short and then just to try and work it down the byline. Yeah, and I mean, it's been close twice, just going for that potential tap-in. But again, just to finish off with the defensive play, a lot of professional players, it, it is in your mind to try to play it out. Even if you're under pressure, you just go for the short passes there. So just by pressing simple, clear the ball there, get it out, make sure not to do any mistakes there. That was wise from him. He's on nine now on the edge of the box for JRA, building up nicely back to Vinicius Jr. Looking for that fourth goal. It's another great save from Jan Black. No green. Pressure. No green, Age. Are you mad? We'll build no green. Again. Corner play choice for Dembele Miranda. Linking up perfectly well. Winner of this goes into the grand final of the 2022 Ila Liga Santander. Puskas ducking and diving. Showing what he can do in this team. It's very rare that you get to see R9 and Puskas in the same team just because nine times out of ten. It's not available to choose, it's Ronaldinho, Cruyff and Puskas has this attacking three that is so deadly. That's an awful pass from Kone. Possession given away and the pressure really building onto him. Yeah, he's nervous. You can tell the way he's playing. He's trying to rush it and trying to rush the counter-attacks from corners. And also, JRA is also rushing as I think they're both nervous. But JRA is better in these attacking positions with Dembele and Vinicius. Building nicely, says Puskas. That time it was time green. And it was heading towards the right top corner if it wasn't for Jan Oblak there. Yeah, he's putting pressure on JRA. He wants to get that last goal that probably would seal the match out in his favor. But Kone is surviving for now. But need to, to come up with something else. Because he has been looking a little bit stressed. And it is an atmosphere where you could, as a player, bow for the pressure and start making rush decisions. Great tackle for Militao. Militao is one of the most skillful now, but like the mobility of Militao is great. You can you can correct if you missed. If you commit, you can come back and you can follow a striker really easily and also is very strong so he's so so overpowered i love him it's danny alves now all the way from fullback kone looking to build back into this game kamavinga finds modric just a little one two scenario he's just offside what i found quite interesting Aga, in the draft selection kone said that his third pick was marcelo foot count to marcelo was his third name on the list that just goes to show how important marcelo is especially in the build-up and you can use him you can use him as a centre mid, which the majority of the players here does, just because of what he allows you to going forward. And I don't think a lot of players here would use him as a fullback, just because that he's not the tallest guy. And we've seen how important the crosses are to be able to resist that with a tall fullback. So it is definitely for offensive purposes that they're playing him there. I mean, you've got great left backs available as well, the likes of Miranda, Yuri. Yeah, I mean, you need you need tall fullbacks uh, at both sides because you don't know which way uh, Ferran Torres is going to come from the left, from the right. And we saw on the Zidane game that he scored goals with Dembele. So if the... Oh, wait. Oh, wow. What a ball. Puskas turns it red. That's the difference. That is the difference there. And I mean... Uh-oh. Then don't try to... Don't try to green it if, you, if you're going to time so many of them red. But again... I think 
the only thing I have to say about Jerry because his offensive style has been amazing throughout the competition but when he gets to those chances he overplays them why go for the near post there just just shoot at the forward post and it's a goal again he he, he almost he has such an advanced game style and it's so beautiful when it works I mean the through ball on the first touch was what, what amazing a ball, what, what, a, was. what a timing and what a ball but I mean you don't have to invent something <laughs> extraordinary just do the simple at times and you'll win the game yeah it's, it's what they said they said this the Ancelotti said that to Vinicius dude you're very good don't don't overplay it sometimes it's just a pass sometimes it's just a dribble sometimes you just have to shoot it not looking for an extra dribbling extra pass that oh where is the Benzema where's my where is Jarry's Benzema so as you said there was no chance for the goalie to, to get it if he went to the far post with R1 with a finesse shot even if though even though it's not finished I mean not finished I mean not finished not uh, uh, green time it was okay I mean he was probably he would be buried already uh, Kone and I think it was the same issue for him coming up against Sudan because he created chances as well but the main difference in that game was that Sudan scored almost every chance he took yes. because he knew exactly what he was going to do when he ended up in the situation he didn't overplay it just went for the shot or the simple thing and I feel like I feel like JRA is his own worst enemy when it comes to that because he's yes. such a talented player I mean just looking at the way he plays naturally so gifted as a FIFA player in my opinion I always hated to play against him when I faced him in the international competitions I mean he was always painful hard to play against when I played him in the global series internationally just because of his game style and I could see what he did but sometimes playing so advanced you're gonna make it too complicated even for yourself because you think okay my opponent expect me to do this so I'm gonna do something unexpected again and that just goes to show that he's thinking one two three time steps ahead of his opponents it's another little cheeky chip over the top that time looking for R9 he just has so many different ways he can attack Tony which makes him such an advanced finger player as Aga was saying yeah, the only the only thing I'm missing from JRA is the the long shots he's not taking. If he takes uh, the beats long shots, that will be a massive massive improvement because sometimes like like this match, Kone is defending really well. Like ha he has been doing not the previous match, but sometimes he needs to add something simple to to be able to attack directly. As Aga was saying, like sometimes you don't need to complicate. You need to overplay. Just go direct. Uh, for the goal and sometimes that's a surprise because everybody's so so much I mean looking for the extra pass and the extra pass and the extra pass and sometimes sometimes the surprise comes from simple like you playing with your niece he doesn't do dribblings and he beats you that didn't happen to me is it where it had been to a, a, <laughs> a friend told me 29 minutes left to play here I mean Kone the pause has come in from him right hand corner of your screen he has to go for this game and he has to get on the ball a bit more he hasn't really been able to do too much in this second half so far at the moment it will be smart for jra keep in mind whoever does win this game yes goes into the grand final yes guarantees himself 35,000 euros but they have to force a bracket reset they have to go the long way around if they wish to be the finalist or the winner i should say the grand winner today here in madrid Oof. look at that nicely modric Anthony Martial, who was his fourth pick in the draft, he's been one of his favourite players to use across the last two days here in Madrid for Kone of Ibiza. Marcelo, looking to turn it on, finds Ronaldinho. Has to go, has to produce a bit of magic in these sort of areas now. Here's Dani Alves down that bottom, a little ball roll scoop turn, finds it back to Anthony Martial. Little back from Keta, well read. Played him in a towel, a player that you have been speaking so highly of, Tony. I was, I was telling you, I was telling you, he covered, he covered. Why? Because the agility, the way, the reactions of Militao. He's fast. Maybe not the strongest, not the fastest, but move with the with the body. He moves fast and he corrects the position. And to do that block, it was not able with another player. Building nicely. Shots go. Game on. Ibiza, just one goal away from equalizing it here and I mean 
a bit out of nowhere because we we we're sitting here with the feeling that JRA has been in total control for two matches almost now. But again, when you don't take your chances when you have them, it can come back to haunt you. And I like that goal there from Kone, just using the La Croqueta pass to totally give, I believe it was Cruyff, you know, a free shot. And the simple play just kicks it in. Don't need to time it. Amazing that Ibiza fans are crazy right now. I'm pretty sure they took a pill in Ibiza before they come here. A pill of joy, a pill of motivation, a pill of FIFA pure gameplay. Beautiful gameplay from Kone. He didn't rush it. He waited. He had a chance. He was just, you know, if I had to take my time, he didn't take the pill. He didn't take a, a, a tea, I guess. <laughs> but the thing is that he was waiting for the right occasion, the right opportunity, and he made it and now he's just one goal away just one goal down it's just that it's just one goal but it's going to take a chance that has to be 100 aggro a 99.9 percent .9 chance if anything around the box he will get a chance i think i i believe he will it, it always it always somehow happens in in these matches he will have to he will have the opportunity to create a, a big one and he still have time now he he responded well after being down with three with the fact that he didn't concede after that. I mean, he didn't create a lot of chances, but he slowly worked his way into the match. And as a player in this moment, Aga, on the side of Jarrah, is there a seed of doubt in your mind now, thinking he could be back in this game? I think he, he'll, he'll try to, to erase the negative thoughts, but I think he will be a bit frustrated that the game isn't over and then he somehow allowed Kone to have the opportunity to come back into this match. It's also why we see him preparing a potential 5-4-1. Well then, it's as simple as this, 4J, RA and Celta. When you're in a grand final, you get a rematch against Zidane. Alongside that, 35,000 euros guaranteed. Yudi Abifa. A player that knows this competition so well. 2020 was the runner-up. Losing to the hands of Neat. And he picked up his first ever e La Liga trophy. Two years on from that, the script's been ripped up. The tables have turned. There hasn't been a storyline to follow here in Madrid. It's been a weekend of surprises. Are we in for one more? Maybe, just maybe, we are. Building nicely. Finds Luis Suarez, who's... Selling another name into the midfield, Charles about to go, Cruyff! There is another surprise in Madrid, there is another twist to the tail, maybe a run for extra time. What a mentality from Kone to come back after being absolutely outplayed for the majority of the two matches. He just finds a way to come back and I mean, you got to applaud that mentality. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit lost of words considering how well Jerry has been playing. But it comes back to the same issue we've been debating and debating and talking about. Put the game to bed while you have the chance. 3-0 down, Tony. 3-0 down. Many crumble. I crumble. Anyone in this crowd crumbles. He didn't. Yes, yes. Of course, you, you can see the people from Santa de Vigo just saying, yes, we can. Si se puede. Si se puede. Yes, we can. Of course, Jerry can. But also, Kone can. Because, I mean, all these hooligans that we have from Bibiza and also from Celta, there's a Jerry brother. You can tell by his face. You know, the guy in the middle. You can tell. You can, you can put the face in the body, in Jerry's body, that is his brother. Yes. So, family, friends, everybody's cheering them up. They're bringing us best FIFA. And best is, FIFA is this what you call La Remontada? La Remontada. La Remontada. The comeback. When you come back, it's in Spanish, you say La Remontada. I mean, mentally right now, gentlemen. Wow. I mean, now. JRA, I mean, he must be thinking, oh God, I've just thrown away a three goal lead in the biggest of games I've had this weekend. Yeah, I thought that. I thought that the other day at Bernabeu. I mean, it's just one goal. We're back at it. 2 1. Let go to the extra time and start over. So I think we're going to go for the extra time. Uh, unfortunately for these viewers that are watching these great games. And we wish, I mean, we would love you to see it next time. And if you're in Spain, if you're in Madrid, 
you should come to I La Liga when we have these lands, when they have the crowd here because the, the atmosphere is amazing. So, oh, you, you might I'm be able to catch on camera if there's a few off the crowd right now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You've got JRA's brother. He definitely looks like a, a potential <laughs> twin brother <laughs> who's been living the emotion here in Madrid this weekend alongside a good, I'd say, 15 to 20 other Celta fans that have travelled in numbers yes. here this weekend. They just looked across to him and it was just a simple in the eyes of JRA saying, Vamos, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's vamos. Get going. Vamos. Speaking of vamos, Alcaraz won the Master 1000, the Mutua Madrid, the tennis thing. 18 years old, he beat Djokovic and beat Nadal, and now he's the king. Just saying that because I'm in Spain, and we're in Spain, and, I'm not, and he's Spanish. I wonder why, mid commentary, you started pretending you were playing tennis. <laughs> so Maybe, all, I pretend a lot all of makes, things. All makes sense now. Anyway, this is your story. You need to be for a 3 0 down in the first leg. Jerry Celta was on the verge of a knockout blow in leg one. He could have made it four goals to nil. But he hang in there. Just about did Conan. A 2020 runner up in this competition, two years on, looking to put that wrong right to catch up with unfinished business. He still has a long way to go if Ooh. it is to happen now. Vinicius. Finds it back to Zidane. Last three minutes now. I'll tell you what, if he scores now, he's going to be on his feet. What a save, Jan Oblak. What a save. Oh, my God. The longest Oblak I've seen in my life. Cafu. Hey, there's a storyline for you as well. It's just come through from a good friend from Spain, Tino. He said that the year that Kone came second, he beat JRA in this very game. Are we going to see revenge for that performance two years on? Vinicius Junior does give away a corner. This will be the last kick, the last chance of the game for Celta. Usman Dembele can't find a way through. We're off to extra time. Strap yourselves in. 30 more minutes. Wow, I'm asking the crowd, like, you don't need, I mean, you need your uh, this energy. Zidane's in the crowd. Zidane's in the crowd. He's it's like, his headphones in, trying to block out what's going on here. Yes, but he cannot. He's going to have to deal with Jerry or Kone. Oh, my God. I mean, he's got the upper hand, but whew, at this level, playing like this, even though it's Jerry or Kone, they're going to come with so much energy, with so much motivation, with the right attitude, and if their hands respond to what they're thinking, I think it will be a tough road also for Zidane. This is not close to be over. Definitely, what Zidane can hope for is that the winner of, of this match could be potentially a bit drained because they had to dig so deep, but it could have the other effect, as you were saying, that it brings them energy and the momentum you can get by winning a match where you're sitting on the edge all the time it can also like lead you all the way to the title yes yes when when your body is tired when you are tired what what gets you to the next level is your head your brain your mind so I mean both are two passionate players and right now I don't have a clue I guess. could be anything could be anyone I don't know man I don't know I mean it was one one leg for one one leg for Konev, one leg for JRA. Full, full. Now, it's a tiny match. A match of 15 virtual minutes. And let's be honest, that first 15 goes so, so quickly, doesn't it? Sibifa from left to right in this one. Looking for their way forward. Ferran Torres causing havoc at the back post. Watch out for him. He timed that one green. Just didn't get the real connection that he was after, though. I'm just happy when I see a green green time finishing, so that's why, I, because I, Ag is happy too. He's not going to hate all this red time finishings. But it was a great play. Player lock, move four players in the fat post, and select Bale. That we're going to see Bale a lot coming from the fat post to score goals and coming from the bench. His energy is right. Well, has he got that drive still for JRA? He's getting very frustrated, you can see, just in that right hand corner of your screen. It's a big win back for him now. He was 3 0 up in this game. Uh -huh. and I just think he's getting in his own mind now. You can just see him in the corner of your screen there. Just a few words of probably anger that 
I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at his face. I was looking at the game. I'm gonna try to translate it for you because I read lips when this when the words are easy. I mean, it'd be like very, vamos. Very like, impressed me. You can do that. <laughs> yes. Five minutes away from half time here in extra time. When it goes into the 2020 La Liga Grand Final. I mean, he's rushing the passes, right? JRA is rushing it. He's he's missing like like dumb dumb mistakes. Passes that used to be simple from the corner kick. You saw that. He needs to breathe a little bit. It's really hard to to call out between these two guys. But what would you rather, as a player? Because I know what I would rather have going into extra time. Coming, coming back with three goals instead of being the opponent who lost a free goal lead. Well, he's been the coolest man in this grand final. Reversal has to go. Ronaldinho says, see you later. Samba, Samba turning it on. Kone! Stop it! Please stop it! Is this dancing with the stars, Brandon? Because a star was dancing. On the pitch, inside the box, he dribbled three people and waited for the right time to put that ball in. Tapiti Kone. I mean, the build-up, Aga. The build-up was absolutely phenomenal. It was great from Kone, and what I really like about him doing the reverse last go is that he just pressed L1 before, so he stops up. Because if you would have done the reverse elastico while running, you don't get the same acceleration. You, you don't get the same kind of unpredictable game. So just to use the L1 before executing the skill moves does a big difference for him. And it gives him the passing angle into Johan Cruyff. And it's another tap in. And now the remontada <laughs> is almost complete. The La Remontada, I feel like like the other day at Bernabeu, I said this like 25 times now, but it's a great it's a great day for, for everybody, for football, and this is a great day for FIFA, because we love to see some comebacks. You can tell that he's playing 5-3-2 five, five, for Kone, and 4-2-4 four, four for uh, JRA, who is bringing in some players like Joel Felix numbers up to get some runs. How has Kone kept his emotions together? He's not reacted at all. His coach has enjoyed it more than he has. He was 3-0 down. I mean, I would have celebrated on the third goal. They equalised. And then potentially the match winner. Just zero reaction. Yes, because he knows it's not over. He is... I mean, this is not over. This match is not over. They're already almost more than 15, 15 minutes ahead versus JRA, who actually beat him. 3-1 in the first match, so there's still time for everything. Five in the back time, I guess, surely for Kona now. Yeah, it certainly looks like it, and again, you can see how how different the players respond to their approach to a match. As you see here, could be a chance. Ferran Torres, brilliant save from Jan Black. Is time running out? Yes, it is. Is there going to be any more chances for Jaro? to find that all-important equaliser. Pedri dancing in the box. Referee! Surely! Surely! I think he played advantage. What advantage was there to play? Oh, my God. Take me to jail. And this could be heartbreak hotel. Oof. Live from Madrid. Ronaldinho pushed off the ball well, defensively sound, but it was clever from Pedri there. Just to have a little bit of a shimmy shimmy and very... Nearly, Aga was winning the penalty. I'll get you thoughts on that. This attack does come to an end. I mean, it did look a bit like it could have been a penalty, but the referee just signals, "Get up, get up," and decision is made. <laughs> but yeah, you still have the opportunity here, Jera. But I have to be soon. Could be now, Jao Felix on the pitch to try and shake things up. There is not time on his side. It's a difficult position now, Kono. There are gaps appearing naturally. He wants to try forward and get another goal. We'll rush that one ever so slightly. Marcus Lorenzo there to save the day. A big switch of play. This is in UD Abifa's hands. And a player that came so close in 2020. This time might get a second bite at it in what has been a ridiculous performance. Or is there one more twist in his tail for Celtics? J R A! I do not believe what we are seeing here in Madrid. The game of all games. This is 
Sports, Viva for Esports. This is the best of the very best. This is e La Liga, the best ever match that was, the best match that ever was in an arena. It's the best match that I ever watched live anywhere ever. Even though when Alfonso Ramos won in 2008 and 2012, back in the prehistory, this is real. This is a real thing, man. This is, this is like real football, man. And I mean, both players are smiling and laughing because even though there's so much on the line, they enjoy this too. Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, I mean I'm enjoying myself a lot. I'm jumping. You cannot see it, but I'm dancing, jumping here because it's this amazing atmosphere. Everybody's crazy down here. The crazy part about this is this isn't even the grand final. I don't have got enough left <laughs> in me for another grand final. Well, fortunately for me, I do the interviews later, so good luck, guys. Well, if we do pass out, uh, I'm, I'm going to be sad to miss it. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be sad. But, wow, I mean, th these create fans. Matches like these create fans. Fans that are, are going to be here forever. If you're watching these, I say this a lot, that if you're watching these for the first time, welcome. Because we need you. Come on. Matches like these happens because you are you are on the other side. I think both players are preparing for the penalty. Well, penalty shootout for 15,000 euros. Oh, An eight goal thriller. I'm not ready, man. And up steps first, Kone of UD Ibiza with Ronaldinho who misses. Now, 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 now it's time for, time for JRA with Nazario, Ronaldo Nazario, El Gordo. He's ready, Oblak is not moving, he's frozen, luck back in Milan, it's top And it's still a draw, time for El Pistolero here. Let's see, goes right and it's saved oh again. My days. Can someone score a penalty? Up steps, Celta Vigo is Puskas. For JRA, will it be the first one scored of it? No! Still, we wait. What is going on? Look at Madrid. Look at Madrid. It's now against Coutoir. Stop there. What is going on? This is amazing. And it's back on JRA. His chance to take the lead here. And no! What a Six one. penalties without a goal. Please, someone put this in the back of the net. Up steps, Gareth Bale for a B far. There's your first penalty scored. Oh my God! Time for Ferran Torres and score! It's tied it. There we have it. A must score chance and save. Oh, match it's point. as simple as this. Jerry Lyon, you score and you're into the grand final of the E La Liga. Jerry is in the grand final in Madrid. He will get a second point at it against Zidane of Deportivo Alaves. That might be the best game of FIFA we have seen all year long. Ila Liga delivering on the biggest of stages in Madrid once again.